as the cherished picker's loved ones commemorate him on his 61st birthday, the final desire that Frank Fritz, the star of American Pickers, had before he passed away has been revealed. Sixty years after suffering a stroke that rendered him unable to function normally, Frank passed away on September 30 at the age of 60 year old. The star of American Pickers passed away just two weeks before he would have been 61 years old. One of Frank's closest friends, Jerry Jindro, gave an exclusive interview to the United States Sun, in which he discussed the ways in which he is carrying out the star's ultimate wish to preserve his memory. According to my understanding at this point, and this was his will, he desired to return to the Quad Cities on the back of a motorcycle or a sidecar, with his ashes contained in an urn alongside a large vehicle. The springtime would be the time when Frank would make his last trip to the Quad Cities, which is an area consisting of four cities divided between the states of Yewa and Illinois. Jerry made a solemn promise, we will do anything we can for him. That's what he really wanted to do. Chris Davis, Frank's conservator, also disclosed the memorial plans that had been reserved for his cherished friend. An earlier statement that he made to the United States Sun was, in the future, there will be a celebration of life. It is going to be really significant. Fans are welcome to attend. There are already a number of bands that are interested in participating in it, including my own band. In addition to honoring Frank's last desire, those who care about him are also paying tribute to the celebrity on the day that would have been his 61st birthday as well. It would have been 61 years old for Frank if he had lived today. An article that was published on Facebook by Frank's close friend Annette Oberlander Willow stated, For the past two years, I have been making him a chocolate cake with chocolate frosting. We would celebrate by giving him one for his birthday, and I would give him one for mine. Other than with me, he would only occasionally share even a little portion of his narrative with anyone else. The manner in which he guarded it makes me laugh quite a bit. It has also been reported that fans have flooded social media with birthday messages for him, with one user writing, Happy Birthday in Heaven, Frank. We keep happy memories close to us, the speaker said. I hope you have a wonderful birthday, Frank, another person wrote. Happy birthday to the bearded charmer Frank, who is now resting in peace, stated a third person. I just can't seem to get it out of my head. Over the past few days, I've been pondering the fact that it is his birthday. In the words of a fourth commenter, he will remain in my heart forever. Jerry had previously disclosed the things that he would wish his cherished friend to be remembered for by his fans. He was truly the comedian who popped out with some of the weirdest and dumbest things that you just go, wow, Jerry added. He was a true comedian. Frank was a guy who was very much a what-you-see-is-what-you-get kind of person. His shortcomings were all his own. There is no one who can be blamed for being the person that they are. He was the kind of person who believed that good is right and that wrong is wrong. He left his imprint on the annals of history. Frank experienced a stroke in his home in Yoa in July of 2022, and this passing comes two years after the hospitalization. After spending time in the hospital, he is now confined to a wheelchair and has been transferred back to a rehabilitation center. The United States Sun reported in August 2023 that a source had earlier stated, he is able to walk but he will always require the wheelchair because he is unable to walk for extended periods of time. You basically lose motion, she said. His mobility was lost. Stroke can affect either the left Jerry or the right side of the body on Frank's in this case, health issues over the, the right past side. few months. He had previously stated to the United States Sun that he felt really, really bad. Whenever you went to visit him at the nursing home, you would notice that one half of his body was utterly ruined. His arm would simply fall to the ground whenever he lifted it up. Being completely confined to bed must be a challenging situation. Jerry described how Frank became frustrated due to the fact that he couldn't come out and say what he wanted to say, despite the fact that some days were much, much better than others. 
This is something that I've witnessed. When individuals get tired, they get fatigued. According to Jerry, I believe that if you do not have the will to live, you will not live. If Frank had had the will to live, I believe he would have been able to survive for a tremendously longer period of time. State of Conservatory It was in August of 2022 when Frank's close friends submitted a petition for conservatorship and guardianship on his behalf. The documents that were obtained by the United States Sun stated that Mr. Fritz's decision-making capacity is so impaired as a result of his stroke that he is unable to care for his own safety or to provide for necessities such as food, shelter, clothing, or medical care, without which physical injury or illness may occur. According to the statement, Mr. Fritz's decision-making capacity is so impaired that he is unable to make communicate or carry out important decisions concerning his own financial affairs. During the time that Mr. Fritz is still recuperating and receiving treatment for his injuries, decisions need to be made regarding his care and placement. For the purpose of preventing immediate harm to him, it was determined that the appointment of a guardian and conservator was necessary. Due to the fact that Frank required skilled and long-term nursing care at the time, Midweststone, the conservator, ordered that Frank's finances be handed to them in July of 2024. Pickers were leaving. By the year 2020, Frank had to leave American Pickers in order to get back surgery. During an interview with the United States Sun in 2021, Frank disclosed his conflict with co-star Mike which led to the official termination of his involvement in the production. The feud between Mike and Frank came to an end after Frank's health problems, and they got back together over the Memorial Day weekend in 2023. When he died away, Mike was present in the hospice where he was receiving care, along with other loved ones. Frank was honored by Mike. Mike paid tribute to his old friend by naming the upcoming season of American Pickers after him before the show's premiere this week. It has taken me a long time to figure out what I was going to say or even if I wanted to post that we have new episodes starting tomorrow night, he wrote. It has been a long time of consideration for me. The timing of this and Frank's demise is not ideal. Nevertheless, we have been producing concerts without Frank for the past four years, and we have always wanted him to be back with this team. Nevertheless, due to health difficulties, he was unable to do so. Every time the crew and I were in Iowa, we would go and sit by Frank's side and let him know how much he was missed, how he could never be replaced, and how we will work extremely hard on every episode to make him proud. We want to make him proud. As always, since Frank has left, I dedicate this show and all the others this season in his honor. On Monday, October 9, the 26th season of American Pickers began with Mike, Robbie Wolf, and Danielle Colby. John Jersey John Chalet was the host of the beginning of the season.